Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be helping you guys set up a Arma Commander mission. Today we will just be setting it up basic, just getting you on the battlefield with just the base game equipment and just getting you the base idea of how everything works. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And if you like the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. you will need is the Ar arma commander game mode which uh you'll find that under your systems arma commander and it's going to be called arma commander game mode once you place that go ahead and give it a good old double click or right click and uh attributes whichever you prefer uh so when when you open this, you'll see uh, a few settings, game mode, maximum deployed groups, scenario time, income, and income multiplier. Uh, the game mode, we're just going to leave alone, we're going to leave on time battle. Now, uh, the maximum deployed groups, always double it. Whatever you do, double it. What If you have 10, count as 20. If you have 100, count as 200. Because this will say, and this will tell the game, all right, at one time there can be 10 groups deployed on Blue 4 and 2 groups that can be deployed on Op 4 or Independent or whoever you're fighting. So for now, for testing purposes and just showing you, uh, I'll just use 10. Uh, scenario time, that's only if you want to do time battle. Uh, basically, it tells you how long you got before uh before the mission actually ends uh so for now i'll just leave that one hour but you can go to unlimited unlimited is the max you can do uh, the lowest you can do is 15 minutes um the income i want uh we're going to do just two minutes because that will just uh, stretch out the amount of ink, uh, amount of points you have at the start, just so you don't instantly get that, you know, that super overpowered equipment, like right off the bat. And the income multiplier, basically, it's uh, times one, times two, times three. For now, I'm just gonna leave that times one, just so we can get that. Uh, there's no multiplier. All right, we're going to hit OK. That we are done with the Arma Commander module. You can just toss that wherever. I typically keep it at the top left of the map, just so it's there. Next thing is bases. You place a base, and it will kind of look like this. This is under the same place where the Arma Commander game mode module is. Once you place it wherever you would like, go ahead and open it. Now, there's more settings here uh the name it's completely optional but i like giving my players a, a base name so they know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna call this airport nato nato base so that's the name of it the uh, the side that is occupying the space is the west which is nato uh, if if it was the if it was the op four, it'll be east, independent. You know your gorillas, your green four, and then empty would it, no one owns it. The garrison is how many people will spawn if a hostile is in the area. Basically, giving you time to say, "Oh crap, we gotta get people over there and get you know get people over there." Depending on how important the area is, is how many people you want to put for a base, uh, for like, you know, a NATO base or something like that. I would do like 15 to 20, but since uh, this is testing and I'm just showing you guys, I would just do 15. Value is how many requisition points you will, uh, that, that base will give as long as you hold it. Or like major points, 
will be, I would say, around 20. And it all depends on how you set up your your base your uh, or your mission. Uh, shut down, I would just leave it alone. But it pretty much says how many people can be in the... Uh, how close a hostile force has to be before respawning, resupply, and, and spawning additional units, how close they would have to be in order for, that, for all that to stop. So I'm just going to leave, leave it at zero, just leave it alone, and not touch it. Show to enemy. This will allow you to make it where the, the enemy will see this base. Whether it be, uh, regardless if they can see it or not. Uh, so showing it will, will they, uh, the base will automatically be popped up on the map. But if you hit hide, if you hit hide, you, uh, it will not show up on their map until they see it first. But once they see it, uh, it will permanently be on the map. So. Uh, the produce income you want to have it as yes if you want the base to produce a uh, requisition point victory points basically is your RTS way of, of uh, win by getting to so many points and then allow spawn basically allows you to spawn units at that location, resupply units at that location, refuel, rearm, you know, your whole one, two. So once that is set up, uh, go ahead and hit OK. But I'm actually going to, for tracking purposes, I'm going to, under the variable name, I'm going to just put NATO underscore base. Just so, uh, so over here, it will tell me that that this base when i click on it is the nato base so uh say if you you want to actually have like a little base or something here or you know instead of just being out in the open it can be like a actual legit base which you can do that by doing this so here's your base i'm going to rotate it here a little bit and there we go. All right. So the thing you want to do is if it if once you get the base set, you're going to want to make sure this uh, module is not inside the building like this, because the module itself will spawn a flagpole that will represent that will show the flag of who occupies it. So, make sure this is just out in the open somewhere, you know, not being blocked by anything, not being, like, covered or anything, just to avoid armor issues. So, let's go ahead and move this over here. Now, we will go ahead and set up the battlefield. Setting up the battlefield, we will just call the, uh, the area just battlefield for now. You can name this whatever you want. Doesn't matter. You can name you can name it, you know, Athera, the town name, a highway if you wanna if you wanna use a highway. Fight for a highway. It does it does not matter what you name it. Uh, so once you figure out a name for it, the side, you're gonna to wanna to do empty. Now I I had a couple of comments say, can we use, you know, independent, like have three forces at one time? I wish. <laughs> Man, that would be awesome to have like a occupational force, you know, like a guerrilla force or something like that. But unfortunately, that is not available in the armor commander setting yet. For now, we would just have to set it to empty.
do the optifor base. So we're just going to call this uh, CSAT. CSAT underscore base. Set it to east this time. CSAT base. You know, pretty much you want to kind of mirror what you do. Unless, unless you're doing a little special, you know, say that this front, uh, who's attacking, you know, kind of, have it a little variety if you want. It all depends. So we'll go ahead and just set that up real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and get the player set up. So let's go here. Place uh, place at least one guy. Uh, I would suggest you put at least three with you, just in case if you d if you yourself dies, you'll have a backup player you'll go to. So. Go over here, attributes, get playable. So, and then we'll just set this up according to that. Um, if you want to give your player base a uh, arsenal, you can very much do that. Just slap it anywhere. So, uh, that's that. Uh, same thing, you want to do what you did here with the other side as well. As I said earlier, you want to mirror everything you do. Go here, playable. Plop an arsenal if you want people to have it. Again, it's all up to you. All right, now let's go ahead and file save as, name it whatever you want. So I'll just call it, actually just call it Karma Tutorial. Here we go. Um, once we do that, now I'm going to take us to the mission folder, which you can uh, do that easily instead of, you know, trying to find it through your own folders, you can go up to the top left, hit scenario, and you can click on open scenario folder. Now, you will get something like this. This won't be here. But basically, what uh, I'll show you what this is. Basically, this will... Uh, initiate the whole uh the whole uh setting when it comes to the uh army commander this will be the number one thing to get your game working correctly is this right here which um i'll have this uh code in the in the uh description with uh and i'll just go ahead and show you how to do this just go ahead and copy and I'll delete it just to show you guys you want to right click hit new text document if you have the extensions on you can do this dot ext make sure it's an ext because any other will not work yeah it has to be an ext they'll say if you want if you want to if you change the file extension, the file might become unstable. Just hit yes. And then opening this, you'll be able to hit, paste it in, hit save. And there you go. Once you, once you do that, we do not need this no more. We can actually tab back into the game and uh 
go ahead and save it. Give it a good old save. And I believe I've set everything up correctly. Go ahead. Once you do that, go ahead and actually reopen it. Just to make sure the game, like, submits it. Allows it, allows it to, you know, do all that in its final things. Okay, the next thing you want to do is do your battalions. Basically gives your each side what they will have. So we'll go ahead and do the native forces first. Go ahead and open it. The west will be the attacker. This is more towards an AI point of view. Uh, just to give the AI a idea of what they're doing. For now, we'll just do a uh, defender, just so the AI can have the attacker. The requisition points, this is how many points you'll start off with. You can start at 50 as it gives you, or you can go up to 100, whatever you want to start out with. For, for testing purposes, I'm going to go to 100. Basic income, basically how many points you will get if you lose everything. If you lose all of your points, all of your, just everything. That's how many points you'll get. Just do five, just so you, you will have to rely on grabbing these bases and you will have to fight the death for it. The, the reserves, I do not know exactly. I'll have to do some more testing with this, but for now, this will, we'll just leave this on zero. And the type, make sure you have it on something that says NATO. You don't want to use like any other nation because it could cause this, it will cause issues. So for now, I'll just do the Ranger Battalion. Hit OK. Now let's set up the CSAT version. Set them to attack. Do 100. And we'll set everything up accordingly. And let's do Guard Infantry. There we go. Go ahead and load it up. Now once you load in, you'll load into a black screen. It will fade you in. Just like this. As you see, this is where we actually place the module. And yeah. Now if you open up your map, you'll see just how uh how everything is. Spawn some infantrymen. Since now these guys are now spawned, we will go ahead and now you can just play the game just however you please. And just so, just to show, we I will just have them attack this real quick. They will pair drop in, which under the custom battalions, which will be explained in the next video, uh, which will be explained in the next video, will show how everything will work. Thank you guys for dropping in and watching. In the next video, we will be explaining how the custom battalions will be working. If this video did help you guys out, leave a like. Drop a comment if you have any questions and consider subscribing. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See you guys.